Today, we are reviewing Super Nano Detergent Bore Cleaner from GMP Solutions. But first, we gotta get this bore nice and dirty. <laughs> okay, now I got it good and dirty, we're gonna go clean it. The anatomy of a barrel consists of landings and grooves. And these grooves, or rifling, put a spin on the bullet. And just like with football, spin equals accuracy. If we look at a barrel under magnification, you'll see it's not a clean cut. These lines you're seeing are tool marks. And these tool marks and grooves will build up lead, copper, carbon, and residue from burning propellant over time. And that will affect accuracy. And that's why it's important to have a good bore cleaner. Now most people are familiar with Hops number 9 and Remington 40X. Personally, I use Hops the most. I like the smell of it. Call me weird, but it's just the way it is. Now the Super Nano Detergent. That's a newcomer to the market. And the company sent me this to test out. So. We took our M&P out as you saw earlier and put 350 rounds to it. Got it real good and dirty. Now we're gonna put this stuff to the test. Now this comes from us all the way from the Czech Republic. First thing we're gonna do is field strip the gun. All right, let's look at this barrel. And boy, oh boy, is it dirty. Let's see if we can get a shot of this. As you can see, it's pretty dirty in there. You can see some copper from the rounds leaving the barrel. You can see some uh, burnt powder, some carbon, some residue. All that good stuff. Nice and dirty. Okay, let's open this stuff up. Now, as per the instructions, the first step is to shake it very well. Let's do that. Now it says don't inhale it, but I want to see what it smells like. Don't have much of a smell at all. All right, let's see what it looks like. It is clear. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but it's clear. All right, let's put this stuff to the test. Now, according to this, you're going to use a rod to slowly pass patches saturated with a product four times through the barrel. All right, let's do that. Right, so we're gonna saturate this. All right. One, two, got almost a, a soap fill, like actual detergent. Okay, ne next step, number three. Screw nylon brush onto the rod and moisten with product. Pass along the length of the barrel up to 20 times and leave cleaner in for four to five minutes to soak. All right. Now I'm not sure why they, they said nylon specifically. I don't know if uh, the copper brushes will affect it. All right, 20 times. Now we will let three to five minutes pass. Okay, we waited five minutes. Now, what's the next step? Step number four, using rod once again, pass patches saturated with product along the barrel and allow us to soak another three to five minutes. All right. All 
All right. I shall return in five minutes. Okay. All right. I've waited the appropriate amount of time. Now, step number five, push clean patches in and out of barrel until clean. Step six is repeat as necessary. All right, a clean patch on here. Some dirt coming off there. Not too bad. We'll pass some more patches through. Right, some more patches. Still getting some more gunk. Yeah, see that? All right. Seems to be pulling it out of there pretty good. Let's right, get another clean patch. Man, look at that. Quite a bit's coming out of there. When I look down that, it looked clean. You guys can see that or not. Yeah, it, looked, it looks pretty clean. But we're gonna continue on until this patch comes out clean. You know, I'm just wondering if I gotta repeat the steps. It's starting to clean right up. I'm not seeing anything. Take this patch out here and look. That's still just a slight bit of powder residue right there. Awesome. Now it leaves this film on the outside. Looks like it wipes away pretty good, but still. It's a nasty little film it leaves. Ah, no, it ain't too bad. I'll take that back. Feels slightly tacky. It could be my hands. Does this feel tacky to you? Slightly. N not much. Well, I mean that looks absolutely clean. I'm seeing a little bit of residue in there. Now I'm not sure exactly why it said nylon brush. It's very specific about that. I'm not sure how this brass, this brass brush will do. But I've got a little bit of residue inside these grooves. I'm going to pass this cleaner through one more time and see if we can get that out of there. And I'm going to try this brass rod out or this brass brush out. All right, it's pretty clean, but like I said, I want to get those grooves pretty clean. So I've passed this through a couple times already. We're gonna leave it set for uh, another three to five minutes, and then we're gonna come back and hit it with this. Okay, gonna run the rod in it now. Examine it here. Now this cleaning brush was clean when I started. So it is getting some gunk out of there. So there's some hidden in those pores that, those pores and crevices and stuff. Well, I'm gonna run this as per the instructions in again. Ooh, look at that. Instant dirty. So it seems like that brass brush is doing a little bit better than a nylon brush. Let that soak another three to five minutes and we'll come back. Awesome. Let's run this through and dirty. Quite dirty. So there's some hidden stuff in there we didn't see. Run another rag or two. We'll see if we can get this come out clean. All right. Starting to come out pretty clean. Oh, wow. That's actually very clean. Yeah, awesome. Well, I had to re repeat the steps twice, but it came out nice and clean. Let's see if we can get you guys a shot of this. 
All right. Check that out. I don't even think it was that clean when I got it. Let's even get a shot of the edge here, like I showed you before. That's much cleaner than it was. Awesome. Okay, now we see it works on brass, works on powder, but what about lead? If you shoot 22s or you shoot more traditional rounds like this, you were to come across some lead in your bore. I want to see how it, I wanted to see how it does against the lead. So I put together a little test here. I have taken this old saw blade that has cut all the heck. I am going to take a lead 22 round and I'm going to write a big D right here. And lead. All right, you see my lead D right here. Now what I'm going to do is write a D here and a D here. D for dirty. And I'm going to take the Remington and I am going to take the hops number nine and we're going to put all three of these head to head. Triple D. Yeah. All right. Now, just like with the regular instructions, we're going to saturate this with the rag. All right. There's the Nano, the Remington, and now the hops. All right. All right, I'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes, and then we're gonna come back with the brush on each one, and I'm gonna repeat the steps just like the instructions say. All right, I waited the appropriate amount of time. Now already, I'm not seeing the D where we use the hops, and I am not seeing the D where we use the super nano detergent. And we'll run the brush on here. All right, now I'll turn it a little bit, and I'll go over to the room. Okay, now for some reason my camera stopped, but I took the brush, I brushed it about 20 times on each one, and uh, like I said. I don't know if you caught this on camera or not, but I didn't see the D initially on the Nano or the Hops, but I did on the Remington. I took the brush, brushed it 20 times as per the instructions, the saturated cloth, and I went over it three to four times again. Now, the lead came up when I did that on the Nano, somewhat on the Remington. You can see the lead right there in the corner. And as well as on the hops, the lead came up. And I'm gonna, I've, I've resaturated these, and I'm gonna let them set another three to five minutes, and we'll return. All right, got a clean patch. Let's go pass it over here. Still a little bit coming up. All right. All right, that's clean. Get another one for the Remington. Yeah, some lead there. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now some of that dirt is from the saw blade. I just stuck it under the wire brush and uh, cleaned the spot off. Don't look like your average saw blade, does it? All right, now the hops. Yeah, coming right up. All right, wipe the stress way off. Check that out. The D's are gone. So, the Nano has successfully cleaned up the lead. It successfully cleaned the barrel of my M&P after 350 rounds. Now, 
Let's compare the prices. All right, the price for the Nano War Cleaner is $11.89 and it's on sale on their site right now. And normally it's $16.99 for a four ounce bottle like this. A four ounce bottle of Remington 40X is $9.99 on sale, normally $10.99. A five ounce bottle of Hops is the cheapest and it is $4.99. Now I'm gonna leave a link to their site below, but it seemed to hold up with the guys that are already on the market. It didn't do too bad. So I guess it's gonna pass my test for now. And that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And you can always support us on Patreon, link down below. There's also a few other links down there like GOA, and uh, U.S. Concealed Carry Association. Check all those guys out. They're super 2A friendly and uh, they do a lot for people like us. Like I said, that's gonna be it for this video. The Super Nano Detergent passes, gets my seal of approval, and you guys stay safe and keep shooting, America. Full beard manly.